A Dallas attorney who specializes in personal injury and drunk driving cases is charged with assault after an alcohol-fueled tirade. Cell phone video captured part of what happened Saturday night in Dallas's Bishop Arts District. Police say Amy Witherwright and her wife Barbara attacked valet drivers and just random people on the street all because they couldn't see where their car was parked. Fox 4's Alex Boyer got the police report and also spoke to one of the attacked valets. Alex. I did, Heather. He's working tonight. Uh, one of the valets uh, seen on that cell phone video getting hit is right back there where it all happened on Saturday night. He tells me that he is rattled by the experience but is physically okay. A cell phone video captures the moment Dallas attorney Amy Witherwright and her wife Barbara appear to go on a violent attack in busy Bishop Arts over the weekend. According to witnesses, the couple got upset with the valet attendant because their Mercedes was parked out of view. According to an arrest affidavit, Amy told the valet, where the expletive is my car, then punched the valet in the face. Another valet, Zaik Nuoku, tried to intervene, and according to the report, Amy, who was holding a drink, smashed it into the side of Mr. Nuoku's head. In the video, you can see Nuoku push Amy from him, and she falls to the ground. I can't say anything for now. Okay. I can't talk about it. Right? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for that. But no, no. I, I can't say anything. The arrest affidavit says Amy's wife, Barbara, then asks a witness, do you think that is funny, and punches him in the face. Barbara then allegedly knocked a woman to the ground and dragged her across the concrete, and then threw a different woman's cell phone to the floor, telling her, you expletive, expletive, ain't calling 911. Amy, whose professional bio lists her as an attorney specializing in bodily injury and drunken driving wrecks, reportedly got into her car along with her wife, realizing they have no keys. A man puts Barbara in a headlock to keep them from leaving, and the report states Amy punched him in the face with a closed fist approximately five times. It's disheartening to see that happen to the valet service and some bystand innocent bystanders who were just out having a great time in such a wonderful neighborhood. We stopped by the couple's home this afternoon. Amy did come to the door but had nothing to say. An attorney who works at her law firm tells me that right now uh, the couple is focused on their family and also focused on getting past their legal troubles. Both are out on bond tonight and are charged with several misdemeanor assault charges. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you.